You know what I mean? There's different places where you could go, man. That shit is phenomenal, man. Some of the best land, some of the best views, some of the best weather, living that you'll ever, that you'll ever experience, bro. Yo, 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 what up, One Coalition? Yo, I hope everybody having a blessed day. Um, It's been a little minute since I made a video. But I want to um, salute to all my subscribers who've been day one riders, day one supporters. You know what I'm saying? Those of you who email me, those of you who shoot shit to me and all that shit, man. Yo, I appreciate y'all, man. Hey, look, I want to um, make this video right here to let y'all know that I'm going to start a new channel. So I'm going to broaden my horizons and actually like talk to a bigger base of people. Because it seems like, you know what I'm saying, I'm stuck in a box, you know what I'm saying? And it seems like... Um, my videos only gonna touch those of you who understand. And I, and I wanna go to another place. I wanna touch the youth. I wanna touch the other people who don't even know anything about an FBA or Tariq Nasheed. I wanna jump onto that because I got shit to give to them too as well. So when I start that channel, I'ma drop it. So those of you who are interested in touching into other things, and when I say other things, I mean like, as far as like politics, um, just different things that black people go through in life, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'ma speak on like, street shit and all that stuff too you know what i'm saying because that shit needs to be spoken about but i'm not coming in a stupid way or to tap into ignorant people because i know it's a lot of youtube channels out here that really like cater to the bullshit cater to the violence and all that shit to get views but my shit is going to be authentic real i'm never going to speak on anything that i don't know about or that i haven't experienced within myself you know what i'm saying and my main purpose is to make my people better and unite my people i'm a pan-africanist and I am a re rebellious Pan-Africanist. Like, I go crazy behind this shit. Like, I'm not going to be stuck in a box. I'm going to really, like, go to the furthest extent to get my people to understand that we are African people. We are African people. We are not Americans. We are not none of that shit. Once you have melanin in your skin, you're African people regardless of where you came from. And I'm going to stand on that. And I know there's a lot of people who really agree with that, too. So I'm just letting y'all know. You know what I'm saying? Just stay tuned. When I make the channel, I'm going to drop the info in this channel right here. And I'll still come back and make videos on this channel right here, too, for those of you who don't, who are not interested in any other things. But y'all can also tap into the other shit, you know what I'm saying, or stay on this channel. Either way, I appreciate the support. I appreciate the insight. I appreciate the vibes that y'all give me, you know what I'm saying? Those of you who reach out to me and shit like that, man, that shit means a lot. But also, um, I was sitting back one night and I was uh, watching um, T.I.'s old podcast. I think it's called Expeditiously, like... And he had 21 Savage on there and he was interviewing him. And so they were speaking on Africa and they were speaking on like how the feeling they get from Africa and stuff like that. And 21 Savage was like, I want to move there. T.I. was just saying like, yo, I love that. I can move to such and such, such and such. But I want y'all to watch this part of the video right here. And um, I'll come with my conclusion, yo. Shout out to everybody, man. One quote. It's such a relief that I, I, I don't feel like a nigga trying to kill me. If I go would anywhere. Would you ever move there? Because I ain't going to lie. I, I, want, I want to move there. I would. I would. I'd move to South Africa. Like Johannesburg. Johannesburg. Cape Town is beautiful. I'd move to Ghana. I'd move to Nigeria. I, you know what I mean? There's different places where you could go, man. That shit is phenomenal, man. Some of the best land, some of the best views, some of the best weather, living that you'll ever that you'll ever experience, bro. So y'all see that one coalition. And I want to elaborate on what T.I. was saying when he he said in the beginning of his um segment right there, he said um when he lives over there, he don't feel like somebody trying to kill him and somebody trying to like harm him and shit like that. And then he started to go on the name of the places that he would live out in Africa, like through the whole continent. But I want to elaborate on that piece right there where he said, when you go to Africa, and I'm speaking from experience, when you go to Africa, as soon as you get off the plane, you're going to have brothers and sisters who embrace you. As soon as you go out to different locations or you go out to eat or you go out to a club or you go out to a bar or a lounge and stuff like that, because those same things are over there. Like everything that's over here is over there and to like a better extent times 10. And when the reason why I say times 10 is because you don't have to look over your shoulder as somebody trying to harm you and shit like that. Like everybody trying to be around you because over there, when you when you black American, you from America, they just want to be a part of that whole culture. The black American culture, as far as the music, as far as the clothes, as far as the cars, as far as the houses, shit like that, they want to be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't even realize the situation that they're in. They looking at our situation over here and wanting to be a part of this whole thing. Like uh, American culture, black American culture influences 
culture all over the world. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like they dictate shit all over the world. And that's why the Europeans are able to make as much money off of our culture than we than we can ever fathom or ever think about. And we're still stuck in that bubble and we don't open our eyes and realize what we can do as a people. Um, we sit back and we think that the little things that we have right now, we should glorify them. Hell no. We can have so much more. We come from a continent that's rich in natural resources. And it takes natural resources to control the world. So, I mean, it's a no-brainer, you know what I'm saying? It's just that everybody ain't, you know what I'm saying, woke or anything like that. But um, salute to everybody out there. I hope everybody having a blessed day, like I said before. And um, those of you who support the channel, continue to support the channel. Let's go, man. One Coalition. <laughs> Don't live, self-gifted.